One of the crown jewels of that treasure is the gibbon. At least seven different species of gibbons now live in Indonesia, half of them on Sumatra. One unique type found here is the siamang, the largest of its kind in the world, reaching weights of up to 30 pounds. This primate's most distinguishing characteristic is an enlarged throat sac, which when inflated can be as big as a human head. The sac is believed to help amplify its calls. Siamangs spend most of their time in the lush treetop canopy and get around in a way entirely befitting the environment. They propel themselves through the trees in an acrobatic hand-over-hand -hand swinging process called brachiating. When moving quickly, they can actually seem like they're flying from branch to branch. Not a small feat for the world's largest gibbon. Despite the Siamang's size, it is not the largest animal in the trees of Sumatra. That title belongs to the only great ape living in Asia, the orangutan. This charismatic red ape was once widespread throughout mainland Asia, but it is now found in the wild on only two islands, Sumatra and Borneo. Scarce, but strong, an orangutan has an upper body strength four times that of its human relatives. Even so, life in the trees is far from carefree. An Asian pit viper's venom can kill a young orangutan. Such dangerous neighbors must be put into place. As the largest tree climbing mammal, a fully grown male orangutan may weigh as much as 200 pounds and dines on fruit, bark, buds, flowers, and the occasional insect. So how does a primarily vegetarian creature pack on the pounds? Simple. The orang has a mind for its menu. Or put another way, it's got a good memory. They develop mental maps of their personal space in the forest and know just where to find ripe food at every turn. Orangutans, particularly males which are distinguished by their cheek pads, tend to be more solitary than their chimp and gorilla counterparts. However, the bonds of an orangutan mother and baby are one of the strongest among primates. It takes a mother about seven years to teach her youngster what it needs to know to survive on its own in the wild. That survival is becoming increasingly more difficult for the highly intelligent orang and other primates of the Indonesian landscape. Hunting and habitat loss due to deforestation have these creatures teetering on the brink. However, the future for one of the orangutan's smaller primate cousins isn't quite as bleak. Meet the macaque. These long-tailed monkeys hold special meaning for many people of Indonesia. Some believe they are part of the Hindu monkey god's army of workers and that they protect the islands and temples. The macaque is an ecologically diverse animal, able to live in a number of differing habitats, from forests and swamps to coastal areas. Whether swimming, drinking, or hunting for crabs, these petite primates seem to enjoy the water. Long-tailed macaques live in large troops with well-defined hierarchies governed by a strong set of social rules, which are never far from the surface. This troop's intricate social structure is reinforced with each intimate act of grooming. primping comes power. Not to mention that it probably feels pretty good too. Life for the macaque, however, isn't all swimming and grooming. 
Although it's a protected species in Indonesia, these monkeys still face serious challenges from habitat loss, hunters, and farmers. But among the biggest threats of them all is the fact that they are one of the top five primate species collected and used in medical research. An estimated 9,500 to 12,000 monkeys enter the United States each year for research purposes. Conservation and education may be the most useful tools in turning the tide. These beautiful primates, of every shape and size, populate the vast and exotic islands of Indonesia. They're charming, intelligent, and social creatures, which may be why many of us find them so breathtaking to behold and impossible to forget.